Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking all about Microsoft Teams and how we can use an iPad as a webcam for our meeting. Um, so hopefully you guys find this useful. If you do, hit the like button, click subscribe and tap that bell and you'll be notified of all the latest releases. Right, let's get started. Right, the first thing that we're going to do is just hop over to our desktop and launch the Microsoft Teams app. From here, we're going to scroll down in our Teams to the supply chain and we're going to start a meeting. Click Meet Now um, and we'll turn the camera off. Right, now with our meeting started, we can hop over to our iPad. Um, let me just bring that up on the screen. Um, and what we're going to do is launch the Microsoft Teams app. From here, you'll notice a new bar just highlighted across the top of the screen. And this basically lets you join the meeting that we've just started. Um, and you'll actually join the meeting as yourself twice. You'll have one iteration of your meeting happening on your desktop and another on your iPad. So what we're going to do is click join on that one there. Now, um, what's actually going to happen is we're going to join that meeting and we're going to be using our video feed from our iPad camera and that is what's going to be broadcast directly into your meeting. So you'll notice that on our desktop we um, do not have the video feed showing there however it is showing on our iPad and that is correct basically everyone in your meeting will be seeing the video, a visual feed from your iPad and not from your desktop. You can do the same with the audio. So we currently have the audio for the meeting set up um, through um, this particular microphone right here um, on our desktop. Um, but if we wanted to, we could turn this microphone off and use our audio um, microphone from our iPad if we wanted to. We could also go one step further and actually um, add a third device. So with our iPhone, for example, um, we could join the meeting through the iPhone app and use the audio from the iPhone rather than from the iPad or the desktop. And basically what this allows us to do is it lets us utilize all the various pieces of technology that we have at our disposal. Um, to deliver the best possible meeting. So we'll have a visual feed being driven out from our iPad or iPad Pro, um, our audio being driven out of our iPhone, um, we're giving and, and leaving in essence our desktop to perform um, through desktop sharing or um, through um, presenting and being able to see and digest people's presentations on a bigger screen um, rather than having to deal with it on a smaller iPhone screen or um, trying to deal with it on an iPad, for example. So you could utilize each piece of technology um, as you need to, to actually make sure that you deliver um, or uh, participate in a meeting to the best of your capabilities. Um, so the desktop app is great for taking notes, um, viewing presentations, delivering presentations, um, whereas the iPhone and iPad is a little bit more difficult with the size of the screens. Not so much with the iPad Pro, it's not too bad on the iPad Pro, but a regular iPad Air like I have here, um, it can get a little tricky and it's just near impossible to actually deliver, <laughs> to actually digest a presentation from an iPhone. Um, but hopefully you guys found this useful. Um, as you can see here, we can toggle the camera on and off. Um, we can also flip the camera if we wanted to. We can toggle the audio on and off. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, smash that like button, click subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.